fiesta. You want to be back in the barn? Uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, okay, so Justin is about to test his rooster trap. Hang on. Okay, Justin, pull. Perfect. It works. How long do you think it'll take to catch a rooster? I don't know. I've seen the big one get pre get close to the trap. Yeah. I've seen it stick its head under the trap. Alrighty, here we go. It's gonna be like a new outdoor TV hunting show, huh? Instead of real tree outdoors or buckmasters, we'll have what the rooster guys. The rooster guys. What do you think of that? Crow masters. No, then they'll think we're hunting crows. Yeah, because we're not hunting crows. We're hunting roosters. How about this? The chicken fried killers. Not yet, he's not under it. You gotta wait till he gets under the cooler. Oh, so close. Okay, so we're still on the hunt, but we put some bread in the rooster trap. You think that'll work? Let's wait and see. Maybe we should get the hunting blind out. Okay, so this is our heifer barn, or what we use for heifers. We've also used it for pigs, a couple pigs here and there. What was it originally built for? Um, I think it was originally built for pigs. There used to be pens inside. And then my great grandpa had sheep in there for a while. I don't know if they might have had pigs and sheep in there at the same time. I'm not sure. And then my grandpa kind of redesigned it in there. And then he had it for young stock when he milked. And then when he went to beef cattle, he fattened out steers and sold beef. So then they they stayed up here. And then he cemented this this lot out here up to those big panels. It's all cement, which makes it nice for cleaning. But butchered yet but this yeah, part is nice out. too because it does have automatic water any problem with social distancing when you're doing this all day. Alright, we got this side all cleaned out now. 
There's the heifers waiting to come back in now. I had them locked over on this side over here. On this side we're actually not using right now. I need to do some repairs to the foundation, but I just put them over there for the time being. Enjoying their new bedding. It's always nice when you can keep them clean and dry like this, especially this time of the year when it's so muddy. Hey everybody, it's Friday, April 3rd. It is not very nice out today. It's a 28 degrees right now. It's been kind of spitting rain, snow kind of mix all morning. Uh, they're talking that we're gonna get snow again, which is really sad. <laughs> because yesterday we had a high of 64 and it was gorgeous out. It was so nice out, we actually brought Jason down to the barn while we were milking. But yeah, so today not so nice out. I don't know if we're gonna let the cows out or not today. Um, our plan for today is we actually have our veterinarian coming out at like noonish to bang vaccinate some of our heifers. We have nine of them that are old enough to do it. They have to be between four months old and 12 months old to get the bangs vaccination. The bangs vaccination is to prevent uh, brucellosis, which kind of can cause uh, cows to spontaneously abort their calves. And it was something that we never used to do, but I'd say probably about the last seven years we've been doing it. Just a good preventative measure. Um, being as there is only nine to do, I think the youngest one is six months. Uh, they're small, so I don't really want to get the shoot out and have to bring that into the corral where the heifers are and work outside because it is kind of nasty out. So for the most part, they're all really tame. Actually, a few of them have been to the fair. So I wrangled up my halters. Yeah, it's definitely much nicer in the building here, not being out in the wind, and it is starting to spit a little rain, sleet, kind of crud. I don't even know. Um, but I think what I'm going to do, Alan bedded them last night, but with there's 13 in this group total, I'm going to rebed this pen again before we're in here messing around. So I'll take some straw from our big square and spread that out. Who do you have to clean in there? Oh. 
Who we got? Paisley's down here. She's too old.